Alright everybody, today my wife has asked me for a stand for her paintbrushes. So we're going to go ahead and today we're going to use FreeCAD. Click on new and then part. And I am going to start with a cube. Grab my calipers. I am thinking we're going to make this one 60 millimeters in length. Whoop. 60 in width and then I am gonna do 80 tall and then we're gonna work on the shape on the outside this is gonna be a fairly basic uh basic one if I can remember how to move there we go oh okay so we're gonna select the outside edges using control and the left mouse click and then we're going to mess it up and we're going to do it again and then shift right click and then get that last one <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and do a fillet first we're going to do this one at five millimeters. And then I'm going to take all of those edges. And then we're going to do a bevel or a chamfer. We're going to do that one at three millimeters. Yeah, that looks good. And today, uh, we have an affiliate sponsor with sunlu.com. That's S-U-N-L-U.com. And if you guys want to save 10% on your order, go ahead and use code W3NQOGCULD. And again, that was W3NQOGCULD or 10% off, they have PLA, PLA+, plus, wood, ABS, TPU, pretty much everything you can think of. They even got carbon fiber, got twinkling PLA, I don't know what that is. They also got resins for resin printers. They got glow in the dark. They've got a ton of different things. And then they also have 3D printers that are pretty good. I haven't used them myself, but I've seen some really good reviews. Uh, and then the filament dryers. I have the S2 myself. Absolutely love it. And yeah, they got a ton of different stuff on here that you can go through and find. Pretty much going to find something for everybody on here. For the most part. So don't forget to check out Sun Lu. And back to the video. Right, and then we're gonna grab this top edge, every single one of them. Nope. And do it at five, chamfer. No edge entity is checked to fill it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make some inserts. Transform. do <clears throat> oops oh, oh. drive on the radius uh, how tall did we make this cube so this cube was 80 we'll do 73 That's 73 high. And then we'll go 
copy and paste. Copy and paste. Transform. I don't know how many will be able to fit here, so I'm going to do it like that. Do another transform. I think we can fit two rows. I mean, not two rows. <laughs> Then we're going to do a cube, and this cube is going to be also 73 high. And first, I'm going to actually get this in position. That looks right. Okay. So then the width we're going to make 40. We might change that. Uh, the length, we're going to do six. So we're going to transform that over. Grab it, move it up here. And then the length we're going to make, ooh, too much, 25. Nope, still too much. We'll make that 20. There we go. And then we'll say OK. Be paste, transform, and move it over here. Okay, and then uh, I don't want to do a cylinder. Let's do another cube. We got seventy-three, and then five. Transform. We made that six before. Change it to six. Transform. Move it over one. All right, that looks pretty useful. <clears throat> pretty much utilized all the space here. All right. So now we're going to select our main shape here. And we're going to hit Boolean. And it has the fillet one selected, which is this. Now we're going to go and hit difference cube apply. And realize that we made a mistake. <laughs> okay, so it's not that. So fill it. Difference. I also didn't do it. What in the world is going on? Oh, the cube is the original shape. There we go. Okay. So then we select it again, go back in, difference, cylinder two, apply. Close it out, select it. Three different supply selected. What? Oh, close. Of course. Four different supply close. One on the cube different supply close. Two different supply close. Three. Different supply. Close. And four different supply. Close. Now 
if you wanted to, you could do any other shape. It doesn't really matter whatever's going to work with what you need. If you have specific tools that you're trying to make a hole for, obviously measure them. Leave like one millimeter difference just so there's a bit of space so it can move around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the tops of these. And then I'm going to hit fill it. I'm only going to do one because I don't even know if that's going to work. I mean, it did not. Okay, so go ahead and grab fill it again. And we're going to do 0.5 on the radius. And that worked. Okay. Yeah, I like using FreeCAD for little holders and tool things like this. Definitely works very well. So now I'm going to make sure I have the object selected. And I am going to export. I am exporting as a 3D manufactured format or 3MF. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop as paint. Brush holder. <clears throat> All right. So if you're not following along and you still want this model, I'm going to put it on my Colts page for free. Link will be down in the description. But for those of you that are actually going to be 3D printing and uh, after you model it continue watching i mean honestly anybody continue watching i need it <laughs> all right and if you are 3d printing with a bamboo labs printer like me the rest of this video is for you if you're not it's still kind of for you some of the settings will still apply but yeah okay so now we're gonna grab the box go in here and let's see paintbrush holder Open. Green map is not for Bangu Lab. Loading geometry and data only. Okay. And then I'm going to hit. There it is. Lay on face. I click the bottom. I can move it into position. Camera is over here. So maybe I'll rotate it a little bit just to have it be interesting on the camera. <laughs> And it looks like I'm going to be printing this out in white because that is what is in my printer and I don't feel like changing it. All right. And as you can see, I do have white up in there my Sunlu filament dry box which you can also get in the link down below it helps me out when you click it uh, you get 10% off for using my code and then I also get a bit of money for it so I appreciate that uh, they also have filament 3d printers and all kinds of other stuff now as far as settings let's see what we got double check and make sure that you have the correct printer selected and the correct build plate, which I'm going to do mine on my cool plate. I'm using uh, Sunlu PLA Plus. They don't have a profile pre-made for it. I'm going to be working on one of those at some point soon. But I just use the eSun PLA Plus, and that seems to have worked pretty well. I'll leave all these settings the same. No ironing. Strength. Everything in here looks good. Speed is, I'm not, I don't mess with it. Uh, we don't need any support because all the holes are just straight up. So pretty simple. Just gonna leave all that regular too. And then uh, so 
see how this goes. Should be pretty good for. I think she will enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Delay. All that. And send. And then I'm going to rush. All right, looks like it's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up in a time lapse, and then we will be all good. And then I'll show you guys what happens afterwards. All right, I'm back. Got this thing all printed out, not the printer. Turned out pretty darn nice. Definitely looks like it's going to hold her things real well. Pretty good. I think she's going to love it.